the retail sector in Indonesia is growing very, very rapidly. And it's not growing to one direction, it's growing to multi-direction. That means that um, the store format in Indonesia um, come into many different um, format from convenience store to the hypermarket. So the growth is actually if for processed food is um, growing um, in every direction. For example, so like um, um, in, in, maj in major retail format, uh, you can see that um, consumers are really looking for buying uh, fresh, um, high quality uh, products like um, fresh fruits, and then also like meat and delicatessen, you know, products like in Delhi, whether it's, it's cheese. But then uh, because Indonesia is also a very young uh, population, uh, more than 50% uh, of our uh, population is below the age of 30. So snack product um, is also growing very rapidly, very, very fast. Uh, so I think uh, these two, um, uh, product, you know, whether like in, in delicatessen, in um, also in for uh, uh, fresh fruits, uh, fresh products, meat is 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 tremendous and snack. But the other um, uh, major product that we see, because Indonesia is is uh, have experiencing uh, also um, global warming, so we can see that uh, a lot of. Um, product which is indigenous from Indonesia is having problems. Like um, we are more and more now importing salt. Uh, salt is becoming a very major commodity now. We importing more than a hundred million US dollars of salts each year now. But besides of salts, we also importing a lot of uh, rice now from United States because the production of rice in Indonesia is decreasing in quality, so um, you can see that in in every major uh, product, actually Indonesia is is growing in multi direction. If you are a, a, a U.S. Um, company and you wants to distribute your product to Indonesia. The first thing is you have to understand that Indonesian uh, Indonesian importers uh, need to register your product. Uh, then this registration will take time, will take a while. It can be three months, it can be six months, it can be nine months, depending on how complicated your product. Once they can re they register your product, then they can bring. But they will never bring in a smaller quantity. The good side is they will always bring either in one 20 foot con container or, or 40 feet container. So they have to bring it by container. But if you want to do a trial test for Indonesian market and then you want to do one pallet or two pallet, what you can do is uh, probably you work with your um, existing uh, importer and distributor at the nearby uh, country. Some uh, U.S. companies works through their importer and distributor in Australia and some of them they work with their importer and distributor in Malaysia or Singapore. Uh, so the, your importer in uh, either Australia or, or uh, Malaysia or Singapore uh, will then work with Indonesian importer on trial basis and bring one pallet or two pallets uh, for trial. For trial. Uh, basically, if you want to start slow, that can be done. Or you can directly, through the food export program, you can um, have a choose and pick your immediate distributor and importer in Indonesia, then uh, your importer and in, can bring uh, one or two container directly. U.S. actually uh, quite uh, dominating, uh, has uh, U.S. companies has a very dominating uh, position in Indonesia because um, U.S. products normally is consistent, uh, high quality, and uh, widely recognized uh, worldwide. 
But um, the, the reason competitors is because of proximity, mostly like New Zealand companies uh, and Australian, mostly in dairy. Um, but then also um, uh, probably some European Union companies like France, uh, um, but they are more competing on like uh, products like butter, traditionally recognized that came from Europe. Um, in the last um, in the last five years, um, uh, the sector that growing tremendously very very fast is the manufacturing side. So food ingredient is the top priority right now. Retail uh, distribution you have to depend on uh, retailers chain retail chains uh, uh, you know aggressive um, opening new stores. Then your distribution can expand at the same time. But uh, you know, besides that, uh, the the second opportunity will be food service. Indonesia at this present has uh, a, a, a very high speed uh, hospitality uh, industry growing very fast. For example, so we have one uh, hub of highly visited tourism in Bali, where you have all the hotels and everything. So the food service in Bali is growing very very rapidly. Uh, Jakarta, the capital city, uh, the second city, Surabaya and Medan, also has um, uh, showing a, a very rapid growth in hospitality industry, hotels, uh, bakery, and then uh, they are developing uh, needs and wants for uh, food service uh, products. Um, yes, um, Indonesia is um, basically uh, pretty um, quite open. Uh, Indonesia is very open. Uh, Indonesia is uh, very fast catching trends in Southeast Asia because um, the middle class is traveling um, very aggressively to the neighboring countries. So for example, uh, in the recent year, for example, because of the influence of K-pop, Korean pop, you know, so we have now a lot of uh, uh, products, uh, merchandise influenced by the Korean, Korean um, songs, Korean pop songs. So Indonesia is very, very fast uh, catching up with that. You know, uh, in video games, for example, like um, the young teenager and kids now is um, um, catching up very fast. Uh, trends like uh, products like games like Minecraft. Uh, it's crazy. It's, it's really, really moving very fast. So Indonesia is catching very, very fast on technology, on trend that is being exposed, you know, movies, uh, superheroes. So they, they are on that. So product that endorsed by, by this kind of uh, subculture normally uh, catching on with us very, very fast. For if you are uh, exporting uh, package good, package consumer goods, the best, the best, best uh, promotion is always sampling. And then we found out through our experience that sampling your products in the supermarket, you know, it's actually uh, promoting the product very fast because consumer can have a direct experience of your products. So uh, that is um, very, very fast. And Indonesia right now is also has, uh, because of the influence of the food network, Asian food uh, channels, uh, we starting developing our own celebrity chef. So if your product is for food service uh, and your product is for um, uh, manufacturing, um, working together with the network of chef, and then let the chef doing uh, uh, some kind of endorsement that can quickly promote your product into your industry sector.